Hello guys. So in this particular video, I am going to talk about UV. What is exactly UV? It is an extremely fast Python package and project manager written in Rust. And here you can just see this particular diagram, how it is completely different from all the other things like poetry, PDM and PipSync that we used to use. And you can see that how much less time it is probably taking with respect to installing any kind of packages, right? 0 0.06 seconds. And right now, if you're using pip, you know, if we really need to install any kind of packages, it usually takes time. The reason for this specific speed is that because this entire uh, library is basically written in Rust. Okay. And as we go forward in my YouTube channel, you are definitely going to see a lot of videos wherein I develop my entire project and I probably use this UV packages for the entire uh, project management. Okay. So here you can see highlights and in this video, I'm also going to probably go ahead and showcase some of the demos, how you can probably go ahead and use this, how you can create a project, how you can go ahead and install packages and many more things. Okay. So here it is a single tool to replace pip, pip tools, pips, uh, poetry, pi, env, twine, virtual env and more, right? And if you are also going and creating, uh, I think uh, one of the major challenges man, many people have faced, right? When they install Anaconda, they try to create an environment using Conda. It takes a hell lot of time. There are a lot of project configuration that you really need to do. The environment variable setup. So that is a huge problem for everyone. In most of my videos, that is one of the questions that comes from everyone. But now, by using VENV, sorry, by using UV packages, it will become very, very simple. Okay. Some of the highlights over here, it is 10 to 100 times faster than PIP. Provides comprehensive project management and universal log file. Runs script and supports for inline dependency metadata. Installs and manages Python version. Runs and installs tool published as Python packages. Includes PIP compatible interfaces for performance boost with a familiar CLI. And all these things you can actually do it with uh, in just your command line uh, interface, you know. Installable without Rust or Python. Python via curl or pip command support Mac OS Linux and Windows this is the best thing it is probably supported everywhere and this U it is UV is backed by this companies that is Astral and the, the who is the creator of the rough okay so these are some of the information here are step by step all the information you'll be able to see how you can probably go ahead and start it but what I will do quickly I will just go ahead and open one of my folders like project folder and inside this I will show you the demos right so inside my e drive I've created this UE project folder okay so I will just go ahead and create this particular project okay and then I will do one thing okay so this is an empty project completely uh, the first step is that I will just go ahead and open my terminal okay how do you go ahead and install the UV part right so here you just need to go ahead and write pip install UV so see this is one of the way how you can basically do and here you can see that requirement is already satisfied because I have already done the installation okay uh, here you can see over here that the requirement is already satisfied uh, if you're doing it for the first time I think uh, it will take some time to do the installation okay the other thing is that here you can directly use this PowerShell command also if you are interested. Okay, so you can use this. Otherwise, you can directly go ahead and write pip install UV because it is already available in the PyPy package. Okay, and now let's go ahead and see some of the examples. And before I go ahead and see, I will just go ahead and open my VS code. Now, with respect to the VS code that you will be seeing over here, uh, step by step, we'll try to do it and each and everything uh, will go ahead and do it. Okay, so... <clears throat> First of all, if you want to probably go ahead and create a project itself, right? And uh, after installing, if you really want to just check whether everything is working fine, you just go ahead and write UV, okay? So once you probably go ahead and write UV, here you'll be able to see that, hey, uh, I'm getting all the possible options over here, right? UV run, run a command or script, UV init, create a new project, add, add dependency to the project, remove dependencies from the project, uh, update the project environment, update the project file, export the project log file, all the specific options are basically there, right? But we, since we are starting from starting completely, we'll go step by step, okay? And here we can also give different, different uh, uh, global options that we specifically have. But to start with, because as we go ahead, uh, I will be talking about MCP. I'll be creating projects in MCP. I'm going to make sure that I will explain you with the help of this UP, UV package management itself. So here, first of all, in order to create a project, I will go ahead and write UV in it. And I'll give my project name. Let's say my project name is uh, UV underscore demo. Okay, so this will basically be 
my project name okay so once we do this you can see that it is initialized this project uv demo at this particular project location and here it is right so by default it gives you all this particular file git ignore python version main.py project.2ml readme.md file now uh, the main question is that in which python version this particular project has got created so if you just go ahead and see this is basically created with the 3.12 python versions right so here you can see 3.12 uh, here you can see project.2ml file with basic uh, package setup uh, like project setup so that you will be able to handle the package management completely here you can see dependencies is completely empty now the question rises krish how do we go ahead and install for a specific uh, python uh, library or python versions you can do that so for that what you could you have to do is that just go over here and see uh, where you have a specific options that say is related to the python right so here are all this particular updates in this particular pack uh, in this github file you can go ahead and check it out you can go ahead and see each and everything so here one of the command is like uv python install 3.0 3.11 3.12 so if uv installs python and allow, allows quickly switching between these versions okay so if you are probably interested in uh, having multiple versions of python and remember here python version less than 3.8 is not supported i guess everything should be greater than 3.8 okay uh, so you can go ahead and install different different versions all you have to do is that you have to install uv python install 3.10 3.11 3.12 okay let's say you want to go ahead and install any of this particular version you can just go ahead and write uv v and v let's say you want to create a, a virtual environment and then you just go ahead and write the python version that's it okay but i'm not going to show you since i really want to work in 3.12 you you can go ahead and probably just go ahead and execute this and you can switch with respect to the python version okay but now i'll go back over here so this is my basic folder structure that has got created okay now i'm inside my uv project so let's go inside my uv project demo okay and i will clear the screen i will clear the screen okay now here what i will be doing is that um with respect to uh, the first step is that I really need to create a virtual environment and since my Python version is 3.12 so here you can see 3.12 I will just go ahead and create a environment uh, sorry a virtual environment so in order to create a virtual environment let's say I'll go ahead and write uv v and v and that's it you know <laughs> here you can see that how quickly the virtual environment is created with all the necessary things right isn't it fast just imagine I used to write conda create minus v p v n v python with the version okay <laughs> otherwise you can also go ahead and write the python version over here but just see this how amazing it is just as i wrote python uv v n v automatically the environment has got created that is the power of rust you know rust is very very quick and now we can see that hey we are integrating this to probably manage our entire project itself right now the next thing is that we have to activate this environment in order to activate just copy this okay just copy this and just paste it over here so here you can see that this particular environment has got activated that's it okay that's it this is how simple it is you know <laughs> very very nice very very amazing and i feel that yes now i'm not going to use any more anaconda or conda packages instead i'll just be focusing more on using this uv packages which is very much simple to handle so all the projects that you'll be seeing that will be coming with respect to mcp or anything else we are going to use this okay now <clears throat> once this is specifically done the next step will be that i will uh, go ahead and uh, add some dependencies so let's say i will i want uh, numpy and pandas so i'll write uv add numpy that basically means i'm installing numpy right so once i go ahead and execute it here you can see that uh, the numpy installation is basically taking place and quickly it goes and done right fatak see everything is completed the installation of numpy is done now if you go to the project.2ml file here you can see automatically the dependencies has been added over here right this is amazing right similarly if i just go ahead and go ahead and add hey uv add add pandas okay pandas right so here you'll be able to see that installing wheels all the packages have been installed and here now you'll be able to see that that dependencies of pandas has also been added right this is so amazing right so any kind of installation that you have you can just go ahead and write like this otherwise there is also one more option and this i will give you as an assignment if i'm going to go ahead and write requirement.txt and let's say here if i just go ahead and write pandas pandas numpy now how do we install this okay so for this 
we used to write like pip install minus r requirement.txt. Similarly, I'll go ahead and write minus r requirement.txt. That's it. Requirement dot txt so here you can see resolved seven packages and so audited six packages in point one that basically means all these packages are already been added so guys now let's see that i have opened my main.py file now you will see that how we can run this specific uh, file itself okay uh, like let's say that if you really want to run any py uh, any dot py file before we used to just write python main dot py python app dot py but here in order to run this uh, with the help of this same in same environment right i will just go ahead and write uv run main.py right so instead of writing python main.py i'm just going to go ahead and run uv dot main.py and here you can see fail to this this some warnings are there it's okay installed six packages hello from uv demo and it is running with respect to this particular virtual environment let me once again run this so hello from uv demo i think that warning shows only for the first time because it is loading the packages each and everything right now this is done now if this much is done just imagine what all things you can basically do you can probably go ahead and create docker files you you know how to probably run this main.py by using this uh, using this command called as uv run right along with that you can also go ahead and further create any kind of modular coding with respect to the things that you require right so this was almost about all the things let's say that you also want to probably go ahead and sync all your packages you can go ahead and write uv sync you want to lock this packages you can also go ahead and write uv lock so here you can see resolved seven packages in point uh, seven zero seconds and inside this uv dot lock you will be able to see all the references of the packages from where it has basically taken it actually keeps all these particular packages in an amazing way right so here i don't have to probably create a separate set setup.py file uh the installation is very very fast and i think we should definitely go ahead and use this right so this was about ue packages the reason of showing this particular demo to you is that in the upcoming videos i'm going to probably create any number of projects using this which will be super fast the other things which you really want to see you can go ahead and see from this particular demos there are many many things installing python running scripts you can just go ahead and do this see installing python you can just go ahead and write uv python install um uv python install with this package or this version or that version if you want to directly go ahead and use from pypy you can also do that right so please make sure that you follow this okay and there are also multiple tools that is provided over here which you can refer it if you really want to right our main aim is uh, basically to go ahead with understanding about uv and how we can use it in building projects here uh, there is also option of publishing the package since the publishing part is already so, sorry since the packaging part is already done all you have to do is that just go ahead and build your package by using uv build uv publish and then provide all your information with respect to the pypy it will be moving right so here you can see uv run with the package name each and everything is there right so i hope uh, you like this particular video uh, this was it from my side please go ahead and check out all the information in the description how you can probably go ahead and please make sure that you start using this because it is very very much faster than pypy and it is 100 times faster than uh, i'll not say pipe pip, pip sorry 100 times faster than pip right so yes this was it from my side i hope you like this particular video i'll see you in the next video thank you bye bye